so today I'm going to start the fence build and uh, I got about uh, 2,000 feet of distance that I'm going to have to put fence uh, for the property. I'm going to run all the way down this way, about uh, 955 feet that way. And then uh, going this way to the left, it'll be 1,000 feet, 1,055 feet. I got my work cut out for me today. Oh, and <laughs> this is the start. This isn't going to happen in one day, that's for sure. What I wanted to talk about are these, uh, are these post drivers down here. And these post drivers, uh, they come in two forms. One is spring-loaded, and the other one is uh, not spring-loaded. And yesterday I was working with a spring-loaded one. Yeah, it does have a spring, but the problem is, is that you have to really pull down hard in order to get it to hit the post. So I don't know, to me it seems like the spring's too strong, and so you're working hard to just push the thing down. So today I bought a, the yellow one there, this non-spring, and I'm gonna see if this works better than the, uh, than the spring-loaded. Also, I bought some of these, uh, uh, some of these welder gloves, because uh, the regular gloves, when I was using them, I was getting pinched. And uh, there wasn't much cushion when I was hammering down and pretty sure that I'm gonna get some major hand sore without something bigger. So I'm gonna try these uh, welding gloves and see if they help. All right, first post. All right, I don't know how easy it's gonna to be to get it straight all the time, because that's just slightly off center, a little bit of an angle. Oh, so this thing here works much better than the spring-loaded one. This thing is a lot easier. So I don't know, I paid more for the spring-loaded one and uh, it's not worth it at all. So just be aware that at least this brand, I don't even know what the brand is, but Get the yellow one. This is easier. Oh, uh, yeah. There, you already got one out of the 200. Yep. Um, We're doing good. All right. Just in case you thought eyeballing might work, trust me, it doesn't. So I got the string down here. I have it down at the uh, stake at the main boundary line and uh, so here is with the line and you can see where it goes off is where I didn't use string so lesson learned Snickers, breakfast of champions. Oh my god. <laughs> Five hour energy, that's for later. Driving home. What do you have? Airheads? Yeah. Breakfast of champions start. for kids. And a kick start. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. He's right there, wow. And he isn't moving at all. Look at that. Hello, bunny. Hello, bunny. Wow, that's crazy. I'm about 10 feet away from it. Yeah, he's just walking away. He's like, I'm just gonna walk away. That was a close call. Here's a local resident, the Roadrunner. Got this wine establishment over here. All 
I'm gonna be putting in uh, two gates at the front of the property here. And uh, they're 12 feet each, so I got a 60 foot opening for my property. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure, find out where the center is, which would be 30 feet, and, uh, and then measure from there the 12 feet off on each side. All right, I got my uh, string set up. So I got this running across to make sure I got a straight line uh, for the H brace. So this is gonna be the H brace right here where this stick is, uh, the pole that will actually support the gate on this side. And then I'll have another one right here, about eight feet. Uh, so I'm gonna start drilling uh, to put in the first post right here. All right, let's hope that the uh, hole is deep enough now. After two plus hours on just one hole, we're gonna see what we got.
Well, I think God's punishing me for something. I just don't know what. I still got probably a two inch difference between the two. This one over here that is the, uh, the strong support is a little deeper, about two inches deeper. This one's not. But you know what? There's a point where you just call it quits and you say, screw this. You know, I gotta get on with my life. If anything, maybe I can cut the top to where it's a little more level, but this is not the strong one anyway. So. You're a little low. You're aiming down. Low up, low down, right there. Wait, no, low down, low down, little, there we go. There? Yeah. I'm thinking uh, I might put in some barbed wire today. I don't know. At least get it started, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to take a break and see how I feel. All right. So we are at the other end of the uh, very first H brace that I put in. And we're going to start the barbed wire from this side. You can see this is the, uh, this is the length of the fence all the way down to that other H brace. This is my first time using the uh, line stretcher here. Uh, but we're gonna need to stretch this barbed wire fence that we're gonna be uh, putting up right now. And I'm gonna show you the wire stretcher and how we can, or the, I guess they call it also line, line splicer. So I'm gonna work on that right now, show you what I'm doing. All right, so here's the line splicer. And um, you're going to pull it from this end here, and it's going to crank going this way. you got to secure your lines. If you're splicing it, you're going to have two lines connecting on each side here. I've already pulled out the uh, right here. This is a lever. And so what you're going to do is... There it is. So right here, you're going to move this part and you're gonna secure the barbed wire, whatever it is, right there. And you can see how it has some teeth right there. So, and then you're gonna close it and that'll grip it. So we're gonna keep it like this for now open. 
I'm only going to use one one line, be, uh, one of these grippers, because I'm just going from that fence over there down to here without splicing. So we're going to work on that right now. I'm going to grip this around the post, and that way it has something to pull on to, hold on to. Show you. Make sure you got it tight as you can. Right here is a release, so that's got to be locked in in order for the for it to ratchet so now it's going to ratchet so you don't want it so tight that it breaks so i'm just checking every once in a while Alright, well now I know what it takes to uh, break barbed wire. I just broke it. So I'm going to splice. I'm going to have to splice it down there. You know, considering this is the first time for me, uh, now I know the feel, how uh, tight it needs to be in order to, in order to do this. back all right there's the splice then we'll start over again hopefully it'll hold let's see All right, so here is the uh, finished product for the first barbed wire fence uh, line. And I'm gonna go ahead and put in some T-post clips now. Um, the, uh, the camera stopped while I was trying to get this one set up. So anyway, it is done. That's some hot ground there. That dirt. Super hot. Alright, what we have here is a little tick. Is he trying to bury into me? He probably is. Hey, dude. Don't do that. There he is. Look at that. Alright, let's go get him. That's not good. He was on my head. Cut. No. Uh oh, he's looking for a place to bury. All right, we're done for today. We've been here for about eight, eight hours. Well, eight hours. Uh, we left at six in the morning. It was three sixteen p.m. So, but we did get the um, first row of uh, barbed wire done. All right, Christian found something he thought was interesting. This is actually melted. There's actually a tree sap. I took no. it off a tree. No way. Yes, and there's more. Taste it. <laughs> what does it taste like? It tastes very bitter and minty. <laughs> okay, maybe it is a tree sap. All right, hold on to it. Maybe we can analyze it later. <laughs> 
after a hard day's work, get yourself a quarter pounder and everything will be all right. Except it's leaking on the Oh my God, it's leaking. <laughs> Lordy. Got some dung beetles here. I did not know that they fly. They are flying insects. Look at that, this fresh dung down here from a cow, cattle. They must be taking it into a hole, I guess, huh? They're taking it somewhere. All right, here's the pond. Water came down a little bit since last week, since about five days ago. You can see that the grass has grown in here. Looks like there's some hog tracks to the water. I'm gonna pick up some water in my bucket here to use to dig uh, some post holes.
Nice. Perfect. What do you think? Yeah. Is that awesome or what? So I put this little hitch on here. Perfect. All right, Christian just found a snake out on the land. Let me see. Don't let hey. him go. Wow, isn't that pretty? So you think that's a ribbon snake? Yes, this is a ribbon snake. And how do you know? You can tell by the two ribbons right here. Or no, there's actually three. Whoa. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Just make sure it's not something dangerous and bites you. Well, it's trying to hide right now. Oh, that's so cool. Nice find, man. It would have tried yeah. biting me by now. Wow, very cool. Got it. This is the problem. They're not all cut symmetrically. And so you end up with a six inch pose that is not quite six inches. So you end up with a pose that doesn't fit perfectly. So you gotta go in and with the auger around in the around the hole to try to widen it a little bit so that it goes in. Meanwhile, you gotta lift this sucker out of the ground every time it doesn't fit. It's not too bad today. The temperature is about 90 degrees. A little humid. I prefer it to be 80 or 85. Anything is better. Helpful. It's hard to last very long in this weather. <clears throat> well, I think we got it. I think we got it. That's the bottom. That's what I'm talking about. I take that.
All right, here's the uh, fourth line of barbed wire. And uh, I need to do some adjustments on some of the barbed wire because it was a little loose on the end of some of them. But I got the fourth line finished. This is all I'm doing for right now. But I, uh, So the last thing I need to do is put up some of the support beams there at the, uh, at the H braces. And then uh, that's pretty much it for now. This is... Uh, about a thousand feet of barbed wire fence that I completed. It took quite a while, but I'm done. Man, that feels good. Take off. Ground crews inspect the runway for any debris that could damage the plane. Security teams will scan the skies and surrounding landscapes. Christian's cooking some ramen. As flight crews and we're watching TV. That's not a hog nose. What kind is it? That's a king snake. Oh, really? That is a king snake. Wow. He's looking at us. Boy, look how. Oh my God, he's so still. There he goes. Oh. Yeah, that's he's not a hog nose. It looks like the same. Nope. It's different. That is beautiful. Look at that. There you go. Alright. Well, we won't mess with them anymore. That's <laughs> pretty cool. Alright, come on. Up. Down. Right there. Right there? Yep. No, the sun. Next. Perfect. Go down. Christian brought uh, home another um, exotic <laughs> exotic animal uh, that is a big tarantula that is not small <laughs> that is a big tarantula oh my god he got it out of the hole here at the land that is crazy look at that now what are you going to do with it Christian you're not taking it home no I'm not taking it home but it's really cool to take a look at it is at. cool we could actually probably video it outside. All right, Christian's gonna let his tarantula go because mom, uh, mom will it. absolutely not let him take it home. Look at that, that's the hole that it was in. All right, here we go. And yeah. Let's see, oh, that's nice. Yeah, it is brown, I see what you're saying. Wow, look at him. Look at him. Trying to find the hole. Yeah. They aren't supposed to be in broad daylight. Oh, yeah. Well, they can get picked up by a bird or something. Exactly. But I don't think a bird would want to eat that. 
Let's see, if, bite let's see if we can direct them back the other way. Maybe you can go back in the cup and you can put them. Yeah. Use your use your cup. Whoa. It's okay. It's only going to attack the. Ooh, Whoa. that's interesting. You see how it went on the side? There we go. You should see it. There he goes. He's taking his time, isn't he? I wonder what that's on the end. That's what makes the web. Uh -huh. It spins it so it makes a. Uh, no, I didn't a know they made. They make webs. Yeah, they I make a they web. Just... No, they make a web on their tunnel. So uh -huh. if something like goes over it, it'll get caught. Sir. And that turned out to be one of these boys. Wow. Look at that guy. So what do you think it is? That is a ribbon snake. That is awesome. Where'd you find him? Show me. It was just on that hill. Come on, show me. So I thought it was a racer. And so I lifted that log and then he went running. That's a bigger one, huh? It's a than the one you caught just a little while ago. Careful. Uh, he doesn't like that. They yeah. poop. A lot. Wow. Look at him. Oh, he's so pretty. pretty. He'll probably eat the other snake. Look at him. He was just right there. You want to let him go? or? No, no, no. Where are we going to put him? This like you said, he might eat the other snake. Is a beautiful snake. Wow. Very nice. He really wants to get away. All right, so you're saying there's a garter snake? That is a garter snake. Come on. He's got. Kind of, he's definitely bigger than the other one. Yeah, they're like strong. Alright, so he's going back to the terrarium at home for a little while. For a little while. <laughs> <laughs> Look who's coming. <laughs> yeah, so there's a baby owl in the blind here. No way. Yeah. That is amazing. Here, I'm going to let you take a look at it. He's trying to go out the oh window. My Whoa. It's beautiful. Wow. Is that crazy or what? Oh my God. Uh, at first I thought it was a dove that was in there, but isn't that amazing? You could probably cut me. Yeah, it will probably bite you if you try to catch it. It won't bite me, it will scratch me. Well, it's got a beak. Oh. Yeah, see it's in this blind here that we have on our land. Maybe you can help him get out. No, no. Yeah, just get inside and push him out. No, I'm not gonna do that. I can do it. Here, let me do it, I'll, get, I'll do it. Well, I've done it. Finally got the fence done. Did my last age brace just now with the support. 
uh, man, this is about two months or so, but uh, you know, not every day, but I got it done. It feels good. Okay, so here's the final product. I started two months ago and logged 12 days of work to get this fence installed. It's been an amazing journey for me and gives me great pleasure knowing I was able to finally complete the work. You may have noticed that I only put four lines of barbed wire. Some ranchers will put five lines. The main goal for this fence is to keep the cattle out. I have no intention of keeping livestock on my property other than maybe some chickens or quail. As a matter of fact, I would like to promote the movement of deer, hogs, and other animals through my property. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you've learned something from it. I have plenty of other projects coming up, so make sure you subscribe and hang around for that next video. Thanks for watching.